Hello gang, welcome back once again. If you're tuning in for the first time, I am the Articulate Grunt. Welcome to my channel and welcome to Minecraft Mondays. I am still out of Alexandria though. You know, I really should have started up further down the wall. I did go ahead and finish anchoring it. It's a little tower, not really even much of a tower, more of an access point, and a way to reallocate the elevation of the wall so it matches up. But with that, Everybody's been released. Everybody's out running around. I even replaced the metal door with a wood door, so they've got access to the entirety of the town, and I haven't had any mobs spawn inside in a good while. And the spiders can't get any more because, well, I do the whole lift thing on my walls. Like so. For those of you that haven't seen it before. Now, what did I manage? What did I accomplish? I connected it back to the rest of the kingdom via a road. <laughs> Gotta go through it, though, because it's Pretty cool. Please ignore the, uh, or don't ignore, either way, that fencing out there. You'll see it as we go out. Basically, there's a hole drops down out of sight of, well, rendering and such. How the heck am I supposed to get over and drop in to get my horse? Hold a goofy on myself. There we go. All right. So anyway, I fenced around it so no big fall through. Mm -hmm. I didn't put any gate. We'll just have to bolt it. All right. Keep it safe and secure. Plenty of horses out here. I have to come out and tame as many of them as possible. But yeah, it basically drops out of sight. Tons of fun. It's going to be fun to explore later. So I headed west with the road, connecting everything back together. I had to put in a couple of bridges and clear a lot of forest. A nice little thing. Wolves everywhere. Kit Kat's going to love that. She's probably going to, you know, just mob herself with wolves her first time coming through here. Chickens, pigs, all the wonderful resources one needs. I decided about halfway through, yeah, it's actually a rather relatively short distance. About halfway through, I built another one of my forts. Now underneath it, opening right down under here, there's a small set of caves, not really a chasm. Which makes for a good place to get iron and coal. I've already pulled over a full stack of coal just off one outing with one pick. Oh, this is something I want to show off. Made it a little bit bigger. I decided I'd do something different. I was feeling artistic. So, I decided to put cut stone slot, slate, the half blocks, for the roof of this tower. But that, of course, would need reinforcement. So since I'm surrounded by the birch, I went ahead and put in reinforcing logs linked into the stone. Some difference though I had. It's like, you know, it had to be reinforced. It had to be helped up there to make the tower good and solid. So, I did. <laughs> though, I did run into the issue of, you know, nothing will be put down on a half tile. So, I had to pull four of them, put stone blocks in, <laughs> to put torches up here to keep it lit. That's what I love about this tower. You can cover the bridge, which is, of course, its main tactical pur purpose, being along the road. Make it a nice halfway point for those moving along the road, merchants or whoever, to find a safe place for the night if need be, though I haven't built in the accommodations yet. It keeps a good visibility on the river, which snakes through here. and goes off into the distance further than I've explored. I was also looking at it and thinking, there's sheep, there's chicken. There's pigs. Uh, there's even some cattle nearby. I remember running through them. I've got this nice open plain down here. I'm thinking clear those trees right there and right alongside the river there. Maybe found a new village. I was talking about doing more of them anyway. Two rivers coming, well, one long river coming in, snaking around and going out over there. Yeah, a nice place where a village should spring up. 
especially the fort here, the village should spring up. Huh. Did this one a little different, not just the support in the roof, but you know, long channel ways, just a small and internal space. But you know, I'm talking about doing a village, so it really didn't need as much internal space for a couple of cabins for caretakers. It can just have the guards and the people that maintain, help maintain the place can come up from the village. Okay. There we go. Yeah, maybe clear these trees and right in here do a little village. Maybe even do the village wall around this water supply. I'm thinking fenced in animal pens out here in the fields, fenced in the village a bit, maybe some crop fields around here. Be a nice spot. Of course there are several caves and such nearby that I've yet to explore, so it'll be a bad spot too. Getting mobbed every night. There's the cows. Pack of wolves is still stuck in the water. They chased a skeleton out there. It got stuck. I'm sure Kit Cat will pull them out later. Another small bridge, and we're back. It was not, it clearly was not that far. I kind of like it. I'll just put in a little road junction right here coming out of the desert. Signs on either side, Alex, signs on either side, Alexandria that way. I'll have to add it to the sign posts. Probably put an additional sign on the other side, you know, you know Shepton and Lamaton, you know, that way type thing. So he would, actually what I need to do, I need to clear this space right here and put in one of my cut stone obelisks. And then put the signs on it. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, you should know where we are from here if you've been tracking the kingdom. Capitals that way, not all that far, not all that bad, but that way. Up through the dark forest, up, or, up to Shepherdsville and Lamaton. All right, I'm going to head on to the capital, get a few things done. Oh, is the sun setting? Yes, it is. So with my pit stop at the new Midway Fort, which is going to need a name, probably name it after whatever village I put in there. After my pit stop there, it took basically a day to get back to the main road. Probably going to fight it in the last little bit to get to the capital. But, that's what I managed to do this, this week, gang. I'm hoping I can get that much done next week, considering I'm basically pulling three extra shifts on top of my usual extras. So, it's going to be a hairy, hairy week. Take care. Leave your thoughts, comments, observations, suggestions down below. Hit the like and dislike. Subscribe if you haven't already. But most importantly, remember... If there's something out there important to you, whether it's up and out, face to face, with other people, without hitting them in the face, no punching in the face, or from behind your terminal, get involved and make a difference. Because if you don't, and others do, and they do things you'd never agree with, never support or stand behind, but you did nothing to stop them, nothing to make things go in a different way, you really got nobody to blame or complain to but yourself. So make a difference, but take care and stay safe. I am the Articulate Grunt, making it back to the capital. I still haven't taken that out. And I'll catch you later, because for now, I'm out from here. Bye.